Hello students, how are you? So again, we will see 5th standard environmental studies in this video. Students, today we will see chapter number 19, a seed tells a farmer's story. Students, in previous video we have seen as Damji Bhai was getting old, so his son Hasmuk looked after the fields and the family also. Uh, he uh, brought new machines for farming. Uh, he used an electric motor pump uh, for water to pump water. Then he bought a motorcycle to go to the city easily and also a tractor to plow the fields. Uh, so in this way children uh, he um, has brought many changes also as the time was changing. And um, uh, after that uh, Ms. Hasmuk was uh, always saying that uh, we have to keep that crops in our field whichever giving more money for them. So um, he was fa doing farming for the crops whichever giving more benefits or uh, money for uh, after purchasing that. Now we will see next topic that more and more expenses. The next 20 years saw even more changes without cows and buffaloes. There was no cow dung to be used in the fields as fertilizers. Hasmuk had to buy expensive fertilizers. The new kinds of seeds were such that the crops were easily affected by harmful insects. Medicine had to be sprayed on the crops to keep away the insects. Oh, what a bad smell these had and how expensive they were. Means after again after some time the means seed was telling that uh, again uh, there were there are many changes in farming also uh, they have to pu purchase the seeds then after that uh, the fertilizers whichever they were purchasing they were also very expensive and bad smell also the canal water was not enough for the new crops all the farmers use pump to lift water from deep under the ground. To meet all these expenses, loans had to be taken from the banks. Whatever little profit was made was used to repay loan. But there was little profit. Everyone was growing cotton. So the cotton prices were not as high as before. As the cotton um, uh, were getting more price cotton crops so uh, everyone was now uh, doing farming for cotton so uh, the cotton got in large amount so the prices were not as high as before so the soil itself was no longer the same as um, year by year if you are doing farming on the same place so the fertility of that soil is decreases growing the same crop over and over and using so many chemicals had affected the soil so much that now nothing could grow well there it was becoming difficult to earn a living by farming alone means by only farming farmers cannot fulfill their need so Hasmuk too changed with the times. He is often tense and angry most of the time. His educated son Paresh did not want to do farming. Means we have seen after Damji Bhai, Hasmuk was doing farming. He has brought many changes also as the time changed. Now after that his son, Hasmuk's son uh, whose name was Paresh, he don't want to do farming at all. After all, um, the bank loans still had to be repaid. Often, Paresh doesn't come home for days. At times, he is away for a week. Two days back, when he came home, Paresh started looking for something. Ba, he asked his mother, 
वेर इज दादाजी वुडन सीड बॉक्स इट विल बी यूजफुल टू कीप द स्क्रूज एंड टूल्स फॉर द ट्रक नाउ डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वाई आई टोल्ड यू माई स्टोरी नाउ दिस इज वॉट बाजरा स्टोरी बाजरा सीड इज टेलिंग द स्टोरी as the time change um hasmuk brought many changes in farming uh, he was uh, purchasing expensive fertilizers seeds also many things also um, needed what uh, money so hasmuk also took bank loan okay but his uh, son was educated his name was parish he started driving now Tr he was truck driver so after all the bank loan still had to be repaid means the bank loan means he want to repay the bank loan now uh, so uh, he was not coming home for one or two days so uh, he was asking that parish was asking to um, his mother uh, he was calling his mother as a ba so uh, he was asking where is dadaji's wooden seed box that wooden seeds box uh, that damji bhai used to keep that bajra and uh, seeds in that so he was asking where is that wooden box uh, why he was asking he was asking uh, to keep the screws and tools for truck into that bajra seeds uh, into that box wooden box in which bajra seeds were kept so now do you understand why i told you my story so the bajra was telling why i am now have you understood why i am telling you my story now here they have given a, a report the report from the newspaper so they have given a report um, it is about uh, a farmer um, see the date and day tuesday 18 december 2007 andhra pradesh so farmers in andhra pradesh have been sent to jail for not being able to pay back their loans they had suffered a big loss in farming one of these farmers nallappa reddy had taken a bank loan of rupees 24000 to repay the loan he had to take another loan from a private money lender at a very high rate of interest even after repaying rupees 34000 reddy could not repay the entire loan so reddy says the bank sends uh, farmers to jail for not paying back small loans but what about the big businessmen they take loans of crores of rupees nothing happens to them when they do not return the money nalla paredi story is shared by thousands of farmers in india who are suffering huge losses the situation is so bad that many farmers see no way out of this expect to commit suicide according to government figure 150000 farmers have died like this between 1997 and 2005 this number may be much higher so this is about farmers uh, story children so they are taking loan from banks and to repay the loans of that bank again they are taking loan from any other person uh, which is having more interest rate of interest so in this way that farmer uh, is taking back loan again and again and again but the crop yield means the money uh, after purchasing that they are not getting more Uh, after selling the crops so uh, in this way they uh, means year by year their, their situations became very difficult um, um, it's it was very difficult for the farmers to struggle uh, to survive in that situation now after after damji bhai hasmuk bhai uh, hasmuks and parish story we will see now about Baskar Bai's farm. So Baskar Bai's farm, Dehri village, which is also in Gujarat. So as we entered uh, uh, his farm, uh, we were surprised. There were dead leaves, wild plants, and grass everywhere. Some of 
the tree branches seem to dry as if eaten by insects. At places we saw some plants with colorful leaves. Why these? Bhaskar Bai said they were croton plants which give him a signal when the soil become dry. We were surprised. How? He explained that the roots of the croton do not go deep in the ground. So when the top layer of the soil becomes dry, the croton leaves bend and becomes limp. This signal tells Bhaskar Bai which part of his farm needs to be watered. So because of that plan uh, that Bhaskar Bai was coming to know that uh, whether that place is dry or not. So we found the soil soft and crumbly. We could see all, uh, tall uh, coconut trees full of fresh coconuts. We thought he must be using some special fertilizers. Bhaskar Bai said he does not buy fertilizers made in factories. His soil is fertile because, because of all the dried leaves which slowly rot and mix with it. He dug the soil a little and told us to look. He, we saw thousands of earthworms. These are my soil's best friends, he said. The earthworms soften the soil as they keep digging um, underneath to make tunnels. This way air and water can easily get into the soil and the earthworms also eat the dead leaves and plants and their droppings for, uh, uh, fertilize the soil. Means in short the earthworms are playing major role over there as they are turning up the soil in, uh, and uh, their uh, remaining waste uh, means uh, just like a dried plants, dead leaves they are eating. So, uh, and uh, their droppings also fertilize the soil. So, Praveen told us about his uncle in the city who has dug a pit in his garden. He puts dried leaves in the pit along with all the kitchen waste, peels of vegetables and fruits and leftover food. He also has earthworms uh, in the pit. They turn the waste into compost that is called a natural fertilizer. So his uncle gets good fertilizer without spending extra money. In this way, uh, he, uh, he was getting uh, fertilizers without spending extra money. So we all had some fresh coconuts from the farm. They were really tasty. We also learned so much about a new way of farming. So in this way we have seen about a different type uh, means how to uh, make fertilizers. Now after that we will see journey of a bajra seed from a field to a plate. Now, in, uh, what can you see in each picture on the next page? Now, in the picture 2, you can see the bajra pops in the mother, that is a mortar, that is oakly, used for crushing. The cobs are you, uh, crushed with a pestle, that is musti, musli, uh, and uh, the seeds are spreaded on the, separated from the cob. You can see the separated seeds in picture 3. Now, this work is also done by big machines like threshers. We call both these as different technologies using our hands or big machines to crush the seeds. Means these are different technologies. Technology not um, means in the sense of um, any machine with hand also um, this also can be done. What technology could have been used to cut the stem in picture 1? What do you think is being done in the grinder that is Chucky in picture 4 and what ways or technology would have 
been used to do this work shown in picture 5 and 6. You can see that the dove is, dove is ready in picture 6. When do you think a sieve that is um, sieve is there so would have been used. Discuss each step in detail in any language you wish to use. So in this way they have shown from Bajra seed till making roti what are the processes okay that seeds have to move from one step to another step so they have shown the steps 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in 9 step you can see the bajra roti is ready or any seed roti is ready so in this way uh, in this video we have seen how um, uh, uh, the uh, fertilizers we can make um, compost uh, we can make without uh, selling more uh, without giving more money so in this way students we have seen this in this video many things uh, from bajra seed till uh, bajra chapati we can say as a bajra roti many processes are there we have seen that processes also. Thank you for watching video.